shoulder, you know, maybe needs to be amputated to uh, <laughs> to being able to throw down two-handed dunks out there tonight? Uh, really just rehab. Um, I rehabbed every day. I only got two practices under my belt uh, during a little two-week stretch. But um, just rehab and prayer. You know, uh, my mom is a pastor, so uh, we just sat down in prayer a couple nights and um, you know, God really healed me. When it first happened, did you think it was? Oh, yeah. I definitely thought it was over. Um, I felt popping and tearing and all that at one time. But, um, you know, we just pressed through and, you know, God came through. You got to help me. Uh, I was trying to describe in my first story I wrote the, the uh, twirling dunk behind your head. Uh, what's the name? For that? How, how do you describe that successfully? Uh, I guess um, a reverse. Uh, double pump dunk. I'm, I'm not sure I've okay, heard it helps. referred to that this time. So. Uh, reverse double pump dunk. Yeah, reverse okay. double pump dunk. If you want to put that in the paper. <laughs> do you do that dunk if the game's real close? Uh, definitely. Got to get the team hype, crowd okay. hype, um, especially if we're at home. Um, you know, if it's tight, then I'm pretty sure it's going to you know, uh, alleviate some of the pressure from the other team. But. I've just seen guys make dunks like that and then get – Get an earful from the coach. Yeah. Yeah. Or, hey, he's uh, not mad as long as you make it. But if you miss it, <laughs> then that's when it becomes a problem. You, you, you know, it seemed like you guys uh, 